For the United States Air Force to be the most effective total force, it takes the full spectrum of support from the regular Air Force, Air National Guard, Air Force Reserve, and Air Force civilians, our total force. They each bring their unique capability to the fight. During the Cold War era, the Guard and Reserve were utilized as a strategic reserve, called to duty on average for less than a million man days per year, while the regular Air Force maintained an end strength of approximately 600,000. During operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm, the reserve component man day participation peaked at about 44 million. After the operations, they returned to a peacetime state, but not to their Cold War tempo, as the regular Air Force end strength was in a planned drawdown. Following 9-11, the Strategic Reserve has been utilized as an operational reserve, peaking at over 60 million man days. During this time, the regular Air Force end strength leveled out at just over 300,000. Our end strength numbers today demand we operate as a total force. The higher ops tempo created by the operations Noble Eagle, Iraqi Freedom, and Enduring Freedom has driven changes in the way the Air Force uses and manages the total force. To deal with these changes, the Department of Defense has endorsed the Continuum of Service. Continuum of Service is a transformational initiative designed to enable the accession, retention, and transition of airmen between the regular, guard, reserve, and civil service components using integrated personnel management policies and processes. Across the Department of Defense, we are changing how total force personnel are managed, compensated, assigned, and deployed. Cold War personnel management policies and processes have proven insufficiently agile to effectively utilize our operational reserve. A recent commission on the National Guard and Reserve encouraged DOD to continue implementing the Continuum of Service Initiative, and we are committed to do that. This is one program we need to support and get right. In my travels across the Department of Defense, I've seen and helped military members struggling because of bureaucratic barriers and antiquated systemic problems. It's time to set the system straight and get this Total Force Initiative on track. Moving between Total Force components can be difficult. Airmen often encounter barriers when moving or transitioning between Air Force Reserve or the Air National Guard into active duty service. We are dedicated to identifying these barriers and minimizing or eliminating them when possible. COS seeks to remove the barriers to service which encumber the seamless movement between duty statuses required to support total force operations. We will use airfield operations to simply illustrate the personnel management challenges that arise when bringing the total force together. Our total force airfield consists of two runways that represent Title 10 and Title 32 authorities. Both the regular Air Force and Air Force Reserve operate completely under Title 10, while the Air National Guard operates under Title 32 in reserve status and Title 10 when called to duty in federal status. Choreographing the flow of traffic on these runways is accomplished by the control tower, representing the functions of policy, technology, finance, legislature, and culture. In many ways, the challenges inherent in the COS initiative can be represented by individual aircraft, symbolizing individual airmen. For example, just as each aircraft must be maintained, individual airmen need specific support services for their well-being and welfare. Similarly, as aircraft must be refueled, airmen need certain pay, benefits, and support to maintain their readiness. Just as aircraft experience changes in operational and readiness status, airmen experience changes in duty status. Finally, as each aircraft is developed for certain operational capability, the Air Force must provide training for individuals to achieve overall force development. Like the airfield, which is managed so all components work together seamlessly, so too must the elements of the regular Air Force, the Guard, the Reserve, and Air Force civilians. C
COS promotes development of an integrated total force human resource management system, ensuring the U.S. Air Force retains highly skilled airmen for a lifetime of service, provides viable service options across a full component spectrum, gets the most for its training investment, and achieves success in the total force integration mission. COS aims to minimize barriers to service, to maximize operational readiness and open service opportunities so that members may serve in different capacities at different points in their lives. Air Force leadership is working to identify continuum of service barriers, study them, and then develop appropriate legislative and policy initiatives to achieve a streamlined personnel management system, so critical to agile combat support. It's vitally important for airmen to support an effective and seamless continuum of service for our Air Force. For over 60 years, the Air Force has sought to maximize the volunteer spirit, and there is no better time than now to capitalize on the expertise and experience of our total force airmen. Continuum of service seeks to remove barriers to service, enabling us to reach the right airmen with the right skills at the right time whether you are regular Air Force, Reserve, Guard, or civilian, Air Force leadership wants to hear from you. COS is designed to make the transition back and forth and between components seamless and encourage a lifetime of service to the Air Force and the nation. Send us your issues and ideas today.